last six years, we've tried to take an increasingly outward focus in the department. That includes not only interdisciplinary research across traditional boundaries of computer science, but also a greater degree of engagement with our industrial partners. Much of the highly theoretical work we do can also be applied to exciting industrial problems. So today, this is our chance to really connect with our industrial partners and to show the world exactly what we're doing. And when I say the world, I'm including people all across U of T, both within the department, in some of our neighboring departments, across the campus, the university officials, uh, many of our industrial partners, government officials, people that are starting up companies, even recruiters that want to meet graduate students for future employment. It's also a wonderful opportunity for our graduate students to present their research to the world. Uh, well, BlackBerry is, uh, is a sponsor of the, of the event today. Uh, we're very interested in the, uh, in the work that's going on in the uh, Department of Computing Science here at, at uh, U of T. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be uh, forming some partnerships with the, uh, some of the students or potentially some of the professors, hoping to get an idea of, of uh, the work that is going on uh, and uh, establish some, uh, some relationships uh, and potentially collaboration with uh, some of the, the research that's going on here. Company, my voice was first founded actually as a result of a conversation I had at Research in Action a number of years ago. And now our communication aids are used by thousands of people around the world, and I have many friends, of course, in the computer science department. It's called Crossjade, and it is an interface for artists to sketch drawings in 2D, and we turn them into 3D automatically because this project was a collaboration between uh, U of T, UBC, and INRIA in France. So, you know, to have that opportunity to collaborate with a bunch of different institutions, I think, is something you wouldn't be able to get in every department at every school. What's great about Research in Action is that we have this great opportunity for all the students to share their research with each other, to share their work with uh, other members of the computer science community, and especially to get great feedback from people on the ground who are working in the industry. So uh, what's really special about the University of Toronto is the quality of the students are so high that we can very quickly build a first class research lab just by admitting even first year master students. And we've created an environment where those young students can immediately start doing real research. The other thing that's great about computer science at U of T is that we're not just a bunch of lone wolves doing our research on our own. We have excellent and tight research groups within the department. So for example, uh, my research in human-computer interaction is within the Dynamic Graphics Project, which is a group of eight faculty in both HCI and graphics. And this is a group that's been successful at U of T for over 40 years. And my students sit with students from all these other faculty and we collaborate and do projects together. NSERC has been a supporter of Research in Action um, both this year and the previous year. Um, and we find it really important uh, for the students to get experience actually uh, talking about their projects uh, to members of the public, whether they be industry, um, other members of the university, the community, um, just to get, uh, you know, their knowledge out there um, into the community and give them that extra experience uh, to go along with their research in the lab actually communicating their research to the public we feel is very um, important and a good skill for the students to learn. Well we were actually asked to attend RIA as an industry partner so uh, our two co-founders were spun out of the U of T computer science program and so we have close ties to U of T uh, the computer science department and uh, we're just happy to be here uh, recruiting, networking and, uh, and, and meeting everyone that's here today. But we're just really looking for great talent. Uh, I, I know we've, we've been hosting a lot of interviews with U of T uh, grads and uh, you know there's a lot of talent that comes out of the, of the program. So I'm hoping to meet some hopefully potential new hires and then get introduced to uh, some of the you know professors and lecturers and, and 
create some strong bonds there so that we can find out what the sort of what the next generation of, of graduates are, are looking to do. It's been really rewarding to see that some people who are in industry um, are interested in some of the same extensions that we are. It's really nice to work with uh, a lot of different people who have a lot of different interests. So you get lots of different perspectives on your researching. And so it's great to have both these discussions within your own lab group and also with people who are in similar but very, very unrelated fields. My research is called Touch the Third Dimension. So imagine you, when you're in the 3D movie theater where you see 3D movies and you're in the glasses and sometimes you, you see objects coming towards you and the intuition is for you to want to touch it, right? You have that sensation, I don't want to touch the object, but it's not there because it's a virtual object. So what we're trying to do is trying to simulate the haptic feedbacks for you to let you touch the virtual, with virtual objects. My favorite thing is actually see people's reactions to my project, like when they um, first Touch the first touch the virtual object. I see some of them smile. Some of them are like, "What?" So yeah, that's the best part of the presentation so far. I love your tea, <laughs> so can't complain. Yeah.